Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Let's look at the book of James. James 1, verse 1. James, a body servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Verse 2. My brethren, can't it all joy when you fall into various trials? Verse 3. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Mm. I take it once again. Knowing that the testing of your faith producing patience. Verse 4. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and the word complete, lacking nothing. Verse 5. If any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally, take note of the word liberally, mm. and without reproach. And it will be given to him. Let me go to verse 22. But be doers of the word and not hearer only deceiving yourselves. The message titled, The Futility of Self-Effort. The Futility of Self-Effort. Give me your heart. I can hear you. Let me take you back to that book of Psalm 66, verse 18. If I regard iniquity, that is sin, in my heart, the law will not hear me. Take note of the word in my heart. We will be judged not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. True Christianity lies in the heart in the purity of heart. Book of James. One, verse 22. But be doer of the word and not hearer only, deceiving yourself. Many Bible students, I mean many church people, I mean many Christians are deceiving themselves because they are not acting, living, and doing the word. When you look at the book of Colossians 3 verse 10, the mind is renewed by studying the word and by acting upon it. One may read or study the Bible for years if he or she does not act it, leave it, is not a doer. The mind is not renewed. In that place here, 3.10, the mind is renewed by studying the word and by acting upon it. One may read, may study the word for years if he or she does not 
act it, live it, is not a dua. The mind is not renewed. Christ and the way are one. Christ and what? Are, are one. Meditation in the way is a visit to him. The way become a part of us by meditation. Tell your neighbor, the way become a part of you by meditation. I can't hear you. Meditation in the way is a visit to God. If you want to visit him, meditate in the way. It is the way dwelling in you, which is equivalent to Christ's personal being in you, himself, living in you. The way dominating you is the lordship of Christ in you. You want to visit him, meditate in his way. Today, many church people, many of us, Pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Within doubt. He's praying, he's praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Within doubt. We must live to God, not only clean hands, but a pure heart. What is it? In all my heart. Not only this hand. Your heart also must be pure. We must live up to God, not only clean hand, but a pure heart. We claim to stop our bad habit. Without, within, hard to do them continues. When you stop your bad habit with self Effort, you know, that are self effort and God's effort. God's effort is grace. When you stop your bad habit with self effort, the urge to do them will continue because self effort cannot stop the urge, but God's efforts only can. Many become Christian, born again, pastor, bishop, prophet with self-effort. Self-effort leaves us with urge. Self-effort leaves us with what? With urge. That which comes out of the heart defies the man. Self-effort, a wrong attitude towards sin. Without Holy Spirit destroying the root of sin in us, we are bound to be tormented from desire to return to our bad habits. Without Holy Spirit destroying the root of sin in us, we are bound to be tormented from desire to return to our bad habits. The challenge is many Christian believers are facing is the problem of urge behind closed doors. Us to push this, us to push it. They will not push this thing, but there's hard to push it. And if there's hard to push this thing and you're not pushing it, it's like you're in bondage. Come, sir. I have hard to slap you, but I cannot because I'm a Christian. That hard will put me in bondage. 
Because those who are inwardly pure show themselves to be under the power of pure. Sit down. Tell your neighbor, those who are inwardly pure chose themselves to be under the power of pure. If I have urge to slap you, but because people know me as a pastor, if I slap you, that is the end. You will not believe me anymore. Because I want to keep my name in the eyes of people, not in the eyes of God. But the heart to slap you is there, but people are looking at me. People know me as pastor. If I slap you, that is the end of my career. I will resist that. But that urge is there. I'm in bondage. God cannot hear me. Without Holy Spirit destroying the root of sin in us, we are bound to be tormented from desire to return to our bad habits. After stopping your bad habits by self-effort, urge to do them continues. Self-effort cannot stop the urge. But God effort, grace, only can. This is where the word contentment comes in. I'm a pastor. No matter what I'm doing here, if there's urge in me, the urge to do more, what do I need again? I will say, let him carry the money I have to become car dealer. Let him join politics. Let him do this. Let him do that. Because there's hodge. Instead of me to think of how to expand the coast of this kingdom of God, save more soul, deliver more people, which is very possible, the hodge. Hodge, hodge for this, hodge for that. I'm a president, yes, who is my wife here? It's not fit enough. I need professor as a wife to follow me anywhere I'm going. Many first lady are not first wife. You have many business cards in your pocket. You are the architect. You are the contractor. You are the lawyer. You are the doctor. You are a pastor at the same time. It's all caused by hodge. You continue to chase it. You continue and continue and continue. We have people that have 500 houses, only legal state here but they don't even know the number of houses they have. It's all caused by hodge. You are here today, you look around the appearance of people, women will want to look at their style. Oh, I like this style. By the time you leave here tomorrow, you begin to look for a hairdresser that will paint your hair in the same way. You will not draw the picture, this is the way I want my hair to be. Every day you keep changing the style of your hair. Hodge. Are you talking of your color? You keep changing the color until the skin is destroyed. Orge, orge. You don't mind to, to loan money to buy a car because you like a certain car. Oh, this is latest. Are you talking of your iPad? The manufacturer know that when they release new iPad today, you drop the one you have. You keep running after it, running after it, latest answered, hyper. If you don't have money, you get money at all costs to get latest technology. Where are we going? 
in self-effort, we only commit God's word to memory, which is valuable, no doubt about that. But God's efforts, grace, letting the way become an integral part. Integral part in them. Self-effort cannot bring Jesus to the scene. In the name of Jesus, be he. Jesus cannot come to the scene with self-effort to be born again. Self-effort to become pastor. Self-effort to become bishop or prophet. Self-effort to become a Christian. God's effort, grace, brings Jesus to the scene. Faith is of man's heart. The belief in our heart is released by faith out of our mouth. The happiness of seeing Jesus is promised to those and those only who are pure in heart. Tell your neighbor, the happiness of seeing Jesus. The happiness of seeing Jesus is promised to those and those only who appear in art. The happiness of carrying out God's commission is promised to those and those only who appear in heart to carry out God's commission. You know, the Bible says, go into the world and preach the gospel. You just say, okay, let me go and preach the gospel. Whereas, inwardly, you are not there. You are in that business in the past. You go out preaching the gospel. Oh, you know, Jesus is law. You know, you have to accept this as your law and savior. Yes. Whereas, inwardly, you are not pure. And the Bible says, the happiness of carrying out God's commission is promised to those and those only who appear in hearts. Be healed, be delivered, be saved in the name of Jesus. If you say be healed and you are healed, you should know that inwardly something is there. It's not what you say that really matters, but the source. If I say to you, be healed in Jesus' name. Don't mind what I say. Because Satan too can say be healed in Jesus' name. You don't need last sentence to say be healed. That word be healed in Jesus' name. Anybody can say it. What you should bother about, the source of that be healed in Jesus' name. I believe your faith is lifted up. Let me see your hand. After stopping your bad habit. By self-effort. I will not drink again. I will not go there again. Mm, you keep yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Self-effort. The urge to do them continues. Because self-effort cannot stop the urge. Thank you, Jesus.